I gotta know, I just read that every time you have a situation, you and him split up. How often do y'all split up? A lot. How many times? Like five, six times. Five, six times. Okay, and how long y'all been together? We've been together for almost two years. Two years and five, six times split up. Yes. Got it, okay. And why did you break up the most recent time? Because he gets, he's an alcoholic. He likes to drink 24-7. Oh. oh, well, that's clear. Okay, and what upsets you about that situation? Does he... He, every time he drinks, he comes home drunk. We fight. We we end up tussling. We fight. Me and him fight. We physically do. Physically or just... No, we, like, we verbally. fight. Like, physically? Arguing, fighting, hit, hitting each other. Yes, we do. We hit each other, we do. So he puts his hand on you and you put his hand on him? Yes, him? we do. Oh, okay. So take me back, how did you two meet? Um, so I worked at Denny's a couple years ago and I guess his cousin tried to get me to talk to him and I didn't talk to him because I was in a relationship then. So then I was walking one day with my daughter and then he goes driving by and he stops and picks me up. We got each other, we exchanged numbers. He dropped me off to my father's house. Then ever since then we started talking, you know, and then dating. It came to dating. Then after a few weeks later, I ended up pregnant. So then he called me and you know, I had told him, I had told him that I was pregnant. He didn't think I was pregnant. Me and him planned this baby. Mm -hmm. We planned her, we said we wanted a baby, but I also told him I didn't want a baby if we weren't gonna be a family. I have two other kids. I mean, I'm not with their dad. They got the same dad, I, mm, no. So then, we did, we, we stayed together, and then he ended up stepping up. He did step up and help me take care of my other kids, like he was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. That's your job. You want me, you gotta take my other kids in. Oh. That's, that, that's okay. how it goes. You don't take one in, not the other ones in. Mm -hmm. So we became a family. He has been there. He does take care of them. He does what she he has to do. She said that's what she wants, so, <laughs> I mean, okay. Hey, but yes, every time we argue, he denies my daughter. Mm -hmm. My baby looked just like him. Okay, for the record, <laughs> can anybody else be the father? Absolutely not. Absolutely <laughs> Don't not. Don't even. <laughs> has absolutely there, not. Has, okay, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. Okay, I'm gonna ask you, has there been any infidelity on your part? No, no. When I was six months pregnant, I found out he was cheating with his ex-girlfriend. He told me they was never cheating. Mm. So, I go and call his phone one time, it was like three o'clock in the morning, try to see where he was at. I was living with him then. So then I had called his phone to try to see where he was at. I asked him, he finally picked up the phone. I called him about 30 times, mind you. Yeah. He finally picked up the phone. I said, why you ain't getting my calls? Here go the girl in the background, I'll talk about. He said his phone was on the charger. He told me his phone was on the charger. Here go the girl in the background, i talk about your phone was on the charger. Mm. I heard the girl in the background myself. I took an Uber at four o'clock in the morning, mind you, I'm six months pregnant. I see him being the first one to walk out of the house. She don't like the fourth or fifth one, the last person walking out of the house. Oh, say a word. I didn't mean to even go there to really fight her because I was pregnant. But I seen her and I happened to pop on her and fought her. Don't play with me. You fought you... at six months pregnant? Yes, I fought at six months pregnant with his daughter. Mm -hmm. Yes, his daughter. I fought six months pregnant. Okay. Got it. Do you two live together now? Yes, we live together. And how's it? Is it toxic? Yes, it mm -hmm. is. I believe it. Well, it's time to meet Heem, everyone. Everyone, welcome Heem to the show. How do you feel about what you just heard? She, I don't, I don't, <laughs> alcoholic. Who's an alcoholic? Do you feel like you're an alcoholic? No, I do not. No? No, I do not. Do you wake up drinking? Like, do you wake no, up drinking? Not at all. Not at all. Do you go to sleep drinking? <laughs> you ever no. drink every night? I don't drink every night. I don't drink every night. He it's drinks like, six I times drink, a week. I drink on the weekend. He drinks six times a week. So why do you have doubts about Lizzie's daughter? Ask her. She want to text her baby father and delete messages and, and, and things like that. Like, what's going on? I want to see what's going mother. on. No, That's not cut even it. your baby Name. mother. How, how do you feel like she's sneaky? Sneaky? Uh -huh. how? how do you feel like she's how? sneaky? How? Let's cross our legs for this one. <laughs> let's, let's cross you our, a let's, clown. No. You is a clown. So listen, you lay in the bed, lays in the bed. You got your phone. I goes over looking, and you, you, you turn it over this way though. Mm -hmm. that, that's sneaky. Mm -hmm. What's going on? That's sneaky. Mm -hmm. Anybody can tell you well, what is that? Got it. What you think that is? What's that? <laughs> I don't cheat. What, what is that? What's the age difference here? How old are you? I'm 24. 24, what's your, well, how old are you? I'm 31. It's time for you to grow up. Mm. It's time for you to grow up. 
You deny my baby, no, she your baby. It's time to grow up. My baby looks just like you. Man, they Put her in the middle of the They gonna show it off. They ain't gonna show it off. I wanna see. Have you ever caught her communicating with other men? With her baby father? With her, her child's father, okay. That's it? They have to communicate because they have a child together. I have together. to. But you do not have to communicate with your fake daughter's mother. I took care of her till she's so a baby. So what? She's not your daughter. Stop claiming somebody that's not your daughter, but not denying my daughter when you know she's your daughter. Don't claim one that is your daughter and it's not your daughter. Stop doing that. When you know she's not yours, uh, no, when you Barbara, know she's you, not you yours. You tell my producers there's a, something that about the way she treats you that upsets you. What is it? I do everything for you, but I treat you wrong. You do. What is it she does do? that upsets you? I do. She talk to me like I'm one of her kids. Don't talk to me like I'm one of your kids. I do everything for you. What do you do for me? You don't want to do nothing. You, you don't want to do go. Out. For me? You don't want to go outside. You don't want to do nothing. You, 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 you just, I don't have to go outside. Just... I work and take care of my kids like I'm supposed to. Like I'm supposed to. Okay. You can, you can, you can still go out and do fun. Go out, go out with your spouse. Because you want to go outside and drink. I don't, I don't drink. always have to go outside and drink. That's what you do, though. I don't always go outside and drink. That's what you do, though. You come home drunk. You come home at 5 o'clock in the morning drunk. You know what, you know what he did to me one time? 6 o'clock in the morning, went in my basement drunk, didn't know he was drunk and turned my power off. Like, come on now. Wait, wait, really? I was National Grid. <laughs> that's not National Grid, buddy. What, Baby, what do that's you want not from National her? Grid. What do you want from her? I want to see if... Latasha is mine. She's named after your mother. She is named after your mother. Okay. Mm. Why don't you have a job right now? We were working at the same job, but she became a manager. And you know, two spouses can't work together. And they said, they like, they basically saying, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna fire you or you gonna have to just get let go. So I'm like, I'm not gonna let y'all fire me. I'm gonna just quit and try to find me another job. It ain't been like, it's been like, I'm gonna tell you about like, Two months, two, two and a half months. Okay. So. And how are you providing for your family right now? By going outside and getting drunk. That's not, that's not, uh, Right. I can't. I, I don't can't. know how you drink you it without a job. You can't job. provide right now. Not, you can't not, provide. At, at all. Okay. Not, as a, not, not at are you still intimate with your ex? No, 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 <clears throat> not at How, I ain't talking like, I ain't, your I ain't been mother? intimate with her. In like two years. So, so why, why, why like did your, years. why did your fake daughter come to my house one time telling me every time we argue you go to her mother house? Why was your stuff at her house? Why you took your stuff out of my house just to bring to her house? You took your clothes and shoes out of my house just to bring to her house. When you break up with Lizzie, where do you go? <clears throat> Under the bridge downtown <laughs> in my lying. car. <laughs> in my car. I sleep you down are there a with. Clown. Down there, or I go to my mother's house. You are a clown. Well, you I go to my mother's house under where? a bridge. You are a clown. You come to my house at five o'clock in the morning, climbing through windows or banging on the door. Is that true? Yes, it is true. Climbing through windows not, or banging not on the, the door. all the time, when I get kicked out 24 seven. Drunk. Didn't even know it. You was now drunk. I got it. With with the drinking, are you willing to change? Yes, I am. Okay. All right. I want to get to the DNA results. Oh, please do so. Yeah. Please, please do so. Please. Let, 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 let's, let's do this real quick. Hold up. Taheem is like Tasha's biological father. Hey, you are Latasha's biological father, stupid. She is yours and your mother's twin. Okay, so this is your child. You now know for sure. So I actually don't find anything that's been, I've seen on this stage amusing at all. Young lady, I don't find anything you've done amusing at all. I don't think the way that you've been booing and the way you've been conducting yourself is amusing. I know you're younger, but I don't find it amusing. I also find it completely disturbing that you two are putting your hands on each other, that you're aware that you know you're drinking too much. And, and when I asked you that specific question about, and the reason I don't find this amusing is because, as I've said to people before, right now, this is all fun and games for y'all to be on this stage. In 10 years, when I'm still here hosting this, and now you're kids are on my stage saying my parents were fighting and I hate my parents and they did this to me and my parents were horrible people. It's not going to be funny when I'm bringing y'all out to have to confront your children. Mm -hmm. Your child is going to be seeing all of this. The, the fact of the matter is that you wanted confirmation so that he knew that you haven't done anything, that you are a good mother. You wanted that confirmation, you got it. And instead of living in that and saying, look, I told you, stepping up in your maturity and your womanhood and saying, I know who I am as a woman. You decide to go out of character and show somebody who I don't think you truly are. This is, feels like 
some presentation that's not right. Because at the end of the day, I take care of this man and my kids. It's no reason I should get treated the way I get treated. So then talk about that and say I'm hurt. No. No, 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 no. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Nothing will ever change. Well, then if you don't, let me give you a lesson in self-esteem and what you deserve as a young woman. Here, I deserve I'm better. I'm over here. I know you probably heard that before, but I'm going to give you a different lesson. The question is, do you want your children to see you staying in a relationship where you know the person's not going to change? No. Thank you. Because First my one. kids want to deserve what I deserve. Exactly. Now, this is more of the young woman that I believe is a great mother. Whatever I saw before is not the person that anybody in this world needs to see, and I'm glad they got to see you, and I'm glad your kids, when they get to see of age and watch this on YouTube, get to see the real vulnerability and the strength of their mom right there. Your children are gonna mimic your behavior. I don't mean to cut you off, but I wasn't always like this without no job, but this, this, this before, this is, I, I had two jobs. I, a situation had popped, sir, came up, I get it. No, so. I get it, I get it, sir. I, Let me tell you, I'm gonna get to you now, since you, you wanna come here. I, I wasn't talking about the fact that just because you don't have a job is why there's issues. Because the fact that prior to whatever happened that caused you to start taking this path, I could hear that you were taking care of other kids. You were also taking care of a child that's not yours. That leads me to understand what type of man you were or want to be. So I hear it. I hear it. But I also hear that some pressure has caused you to start feeling like you need to drink, you need to retreat, and you need to not process your anger properly. And you found a young woman who's going to be young enough and inexperienced enough to put up with it. Because you knew if you were the woman your age or older, she's not going to deal with this. Not at all. You know it. Not at all. Exactly. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Not at all. But it's not fair equally for your children, the ones that are in this house, to be witnessing this. I just ask if those kids can hear you all fighting. They do. They hear us. And again, I want you to think right now. You have a daughter. You just found out she's named after your mother. I want to ask you, if she was on my stage in 15 years and she said, the man I'm with is hitting me and he is calling me out of my name and you sit in front row of my audience, what you gonna do? You gonna applaud? Not you gonna all. smile and kiki? Not at all. Or you gonna feel how I feel right now? A little bit disgusted mm -hmm. of the fact that this is happening. Mm -hmm. I know you would. That's a fact. So then why are you doing it to her mother? And why are you not stepping up yourself? <laughs> Again. We can have all the fun on, in the world on this show. I love having fun. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, my thing is always going to, why I say every show, let's continue talking and growing, is because there's a lot of growth that needs to happen there. Yeah. Because if there's not growth here, those kids are going to be the one that's affected the most. You're resilient. You're going to bounce back. But kids don't bounce back as quickly from the scars of their childhood. And you know that as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure if we go back into y'all's childhoods, there's things that have scarred each of you. Most death. Yeah. Most death someone. So I'm going to leave y'all with this. You know this is your child. Treat her mother better. She deserves better than this. What's going on in your head right now? I do everything for this man. I know. I do everything for him. I know you do. And I will do everything for him no matter what. Yeah. And I get treated like nothing. Thank you. And then you got, then you over here saying, you don't want my daughter's yours. Well, you know she's your daughter. She looks just like you and your mother. You put my baby in the middle of you and your mother, that's y'all triplets. There's no denying that one. So you were hurt by all of this. You've been hurt. You've been used and you felt hurt. Got it. You feeling sad? You feeling unsure? You, you absolutely, I'm, I'm, I'm depressed. Like, I can't really provide for my family how I, how I used to. Before she got her job, it was me. I was provided. Got it. She knew that. So you feel I, I was, now I'm, now I'm at, Ground up. Have you ever told her that? That I feel like a little, I feel yeah, a little ashamed, I feel a little insecure? She, she noticed already. I know she noticed it, but have you ever talked to her? Not at all. Now, there we go. Not a step that you leave here, be vulnerable enough with her to talk to her. I just, I just need help, man. I'm here for you. I'm, you know I'm here for you. Ten say, toes down, do you, like. Do you say I'm sorry, though, I'm, for what I'm you've been so, putting through? I'm sorry for putting you through, through this. You know. I'm going to accept your apology. You was an alcoholic before you lost your job. So I'll tell you this. I'm not invalidating your feelings at all because I can only imagine what you're experiencing. But I'm going to tell you, if you really want him to step up and be the father for your children, when I get this man to be vulnerable, the way to encourage more vulnerability is not by telling him that he was worse. It's to say at least thank you. I appreciate you for being vulnerable and thank you for showing the world who y'all really are. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Want more Unlocked Phones, DNA Reveals, and Family Drama? Then make sure you're subscribed to The Karamo Show YouTube.